Yeah, today I want to share with you an idea of how to prepare potato leaves vegetables. So we go together to a garden and we are going to pick some fresh potato leaves. We are going to prepare for the lunch. So you choose and you select the best leaves, especially the young ones, and then you wash to take away the sand and then after washing you start to select it this way. Remember to prepare as usual. You prepare onions, carrots and tomato as the base of the spices. But also you can prepare lemon it's good also to put a piece of lemon and a little bit of uh, paper uh, green paper so you select the leaves this way and then when everything is okay you you prepare a pot make sure that it's dry and you put a little bit of cooking oil you leave it for a while when it is okay boiling then you start to cook your potato leaves you start with normal onions you put them into a pot this way and you stir it until when it is getting a little bit brownish continue to mix it Then you take pieces of carrots that you've prepared well sliced. You put into a pot together with the already put onions now brownish in color and you continue uh, to stir. You continue to mix it to make sure that the mixture is monogenous is all well uh, cooked yes now you take some green paper You continue stirring the mixture. Remember, there are onions, there are carrots, and now we have put, we just put in green paper. So you continue to mix all of the ingredients together while the pot is still hot fire almost to the maximum to get this kind of mixture continuously time now you put your tomatoes that you already prepared into the 
mix of the former ingredient and your stars making sure that the tomato has given all its juice to the ingredients all of it and you have to ponder the tomatoes so that it becomes very liquid like this and then you add some salt make sure you put a little of it because not everyone can eat enough salt so you put it at least it's better if it misses than to put it in abundance now you mix up the ingredients like this and now you add a little bit of the mouth so to give tasty to your vegetables just the half piece of it but also depend the kinds of lemons you are using so now you mix up all the ingredients together and at last you put your you are green vegetables into a pot and you make sure that it all enters in in a simultaneous way so that it all cooks it get cooked at the same time in a similar way or be it uniformly so now you are going to mix the vegetable or beet the the leaves of potato sweet potato of course and you add a little bit of water to make it wet so that to facilitate it being cooked yes then now on the time we decide when to take it out Now you have to put you have to cover your vegetable so that you don't allow the aroma to evaporate with heat. As you watch this video I welcome you also to subscribe so that next episode don't get you out. Uh, next time I will show you how to prepare a matoki with beans as you can see uh, we are preparing matoki with beans together it's such a very good dish but stay tuned remember to subscribe so that you are not out when the next issue it will be in there back to our pot we are still working upon our matembele or beet potatoes leaves sweet potatoes leaves of course it's almost ready to be served and now it's almost ready and we switch off the cooker 
so as I asked you to subscribe to my channel it's all about lifestyle traveling and tour and today we have seen how to prepare a matembele or it uh, for uh, the leaves of the banana the potatoes leaves but tomorrow we'll bring you the other things you know there are a lot of vegetables that people think that they are just normal grasses but really they are a big deal like this uh, you can see it somewhere and you can ignore I remember the other time I was in Brazil and there was mchicha there when I was moving about I saw the mchicha and looks like no one was picking it it looks like it was just normal grass but one day I took uh, seeds of that in ma grass majan like this one and I captured it I prepared it and I put it inside our house we have a little shamba so I planted it and then when it grew up it was very nice and the people it was only first of the African culture presentation I prepared it that in church and they ate ah, everyone was in the favor of that in church I tell you personally I did not even test because it had already finished so many people don't know the kind of vegetables that other people are taking advantage of like this tree uh, I never thought that is edible in at home in Tanzania there are a lot of these trees and I don't think anyone can use it as vegetable but when you come to the roots you understand that it's one of the very interesting vegetable here especially in this side of Kenya uh, people can opt this kind to sukuma wiki in fact they come to pick these leaves and they leave sukuma wiki so it's very big deal here in coastal region of Kenya they mix it with uh, meat and other thing of course it's a little bitter uh, but it's good yeah there are also other vegetables like uh, this green peppers there are other nerf I don't know what they call it but anyway they are sprint kind of vegetable sometimes you can ignore because it's not in your culture to use it but really in other people's culture it may be a big big deal so join me in my channel i'm sure you'll enjoy seeing varieties of things especially from the garden about lifestyle about traveling about tour and everything that you suggest i'll bring to you uh, during my uh, exposition so thank you for your time you see even this is one of the vegetables i came to understand first in angola then here in coastal region and there are the other uh, baba leaves people used to it especially the time of great drought so thank you for watching and we are together